Hey now, Mike Shimon here. I'm going to show you how to make these three landing pages in 10 minutes. I'm actually giving them away for free. Stay tuned to, until the end of the video to see where you can get them. All right, let's get into the video right now. Hey now, Mike Shimon here. I'm going to show you guys today how to create a few different landing pages with a Divi theme out of one page, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to, I just create a new page. I put a text module in there with some text. And now I have a blank page template. And I'm going to go to publish. Once you're done with that, just go to view page. And then let's go to enable visual builder. All right, so we're on this page now. We've just created this text. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create this. We're going to go to our lorem text, actually. All right, let's put our text in there. And actually go back to it and let's stylize it up some. We're gonna go to design and text. And then we're gonna go down here, make it black. And let's just go to ultra bold. Okay. All right, and let's just play around with the text size just a little bit. Okay, that looks good right there. All right, check. All right, so there's our text. Now what we're gonna do is go in here and get the line height going on adjust the line height all right and we're going to change that to red actually we'll, we'll keep that black and then what we'll do is we'll just add a section with an email opt-in here all right and we'll just go to design and layout body on the bottom form on top and then we're going to delete this content in here And delete that content. I'm gonna go to design and fields. And then we're gonna change the border to the fields border to one. Go back to content and let's go to the fields. And we're not gonna show the last name field. And we'll go to background. Eliminate the background. Okay. And then now let's put some um, other text in here. Settings, design, text. It's just going to be regular. And we're going to go down to, let's see, 21. All right. And then you just put a little bit more text here. Okay, just change that line height and center it right there. We'll just go to spacing as well and center out the top and the bottom. Okay, so now that's left is the spacing. Okay, let's go 16. Right now, right here is our spacing for the row. We're just going to do that right now and let's bring that up to zero. All right, so there's a simple little email opt-in there. I know it's not the, um, if you go back to text and go design and text and center in this text. No, look, it's not the uh, prettiest form, but it's still it's still a form. And let me tell you something that some of the times, the ugliest forms convert the best, okay? Now, if you want to change the sizing, just go to the email opt-in design. And if you go to sizing, just bring it down center it all right so what I'll do is I'll save this one okay like that's simple but but I'll save it let me decrease this to 70% again all right check that and just check it for mobile Okay, and you want to do this before you save it. Design, text, go to your text size and go to mobile, and then bring it down. Okay, check that, and then let's go to this text size and bring this down for mobile as well. You hit the paintbrush, it goes right to it. Let's go ho hover over and go to 16, or 18, looks good. Okay, and then for the opt-in, you want to go to design and the sizing again. Scroll over the width, the mobile phone, and just go to 100%. Okay. All right, so now that's one page right there. Okay, download this one.
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase my sizing on this email opt-in now. Okay, back to 100%. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up the row, lift this up, put it in here. Delete this one. Now you just go to the row settings, design, and let's go background. Make the background white, design, and border. Let's go make the background, make the border, let's see. Two pixels looks good. Now what you want to do is you want to go into your design and spacing. And then you're just going to want to fill out equal, um, excuse me, not on the margin. I want to zero those and then zero this. You can zero everything and see how it looks. Okay, now if it does that, what you need to do is you need to go back into your sizing, module alignment in the center, okay. And now for the sizing, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit more. As you can see, I got it on 1200, I'm gonna put it on 1920, because that's what I'm working with. And bring it down to that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the spacing now. And then on the paddings, I'm just gonna go 32. And then 32 on the left and right. And then there, now we have it centered, except for right there, there we go. Now we have it all centered in there, um, except for that bottom there, but that's not a big deal. But now what, you, what I want to do is I'm just going to go box shadow, put a little thing behind it there, check that, go to your section settings, go to background, and then let's go to a gray. All right, check that. And then now if, if you want it to get higher, what you're going to do is you just got to go to section settings, design, and sizing. And then your max height, you can put it at 100%. Okay, but when you do that, if there's nothing below this thing, and nothing's going to happen. So there's a couple things that you can do is if you switch to mobile. All right, we're going to have to do some of this right now. So let's go to settings and design, sizing. And then for the width, you go over the phone, and then just make it. I wouldn't make it 100%, but see, I want a little bit of the gray showing right there. So I just put it down to 90. Okay, and I like 90. 90 does good. All right. And then on tablet, same thing. Design and sizing. 90. All right, and it looks pretty good on tablet and on the mobile there. Okay. And then, oh yeah, okay, For so for the spacing, just want to go to design settings and sizing. And you can set a max height here or the minimum height there, okay? And you again, you can set percentages if you want, but the percentages don't come in contact with this. You can always put a margin on this on the bottom, so let's go design and margin. Facing margin. Sixty-four and it brings it down a little bit there. Okay. And then you well it brought it down both because I got them both blocked, but just what was this one? 32. This one's gonna be 3064. Yeah, there. Alright. All right, guys, so that's another landing page right there. Now, let me show you how to transform this even further. Okay, so what we're going to do is save this one. Uh, Divvy layout. What do I put it to? Okay. Now, let's transform this one into an even more different one right now. Export that. Okay, guys, if you're liking the content, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe button, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, now to transform this even further, go to this section. Actually, let's go here to these section settings and go to background, and we'll make it black, and we're gonna bring this down, the transparency down. Check that, and then we're gonna make this text white. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll put a little design and if you go to the, um, we'll do a little text shadow on there just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, and then make this text white. All 
Alright, let's make this button orange. Okay, and then we'll put a little bit of uh, shadow on the letters. And then I'll increase the font size. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll go to section settings, background, we'll change this uh, background image. Alright, so that's one I already got preloaded there. Let's go check that. Alright, now you have another totally different landing page than we just had in a matter of seconds. So we created three landing pages here. It hasn't even been like, I mean, I, I think it's been, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Um, so there's three landing pages for you guys. Now, if you want to take this even further, you could. And I also want to mention to you too, is that when you're going through here and doing this email opt-in, you want to make sure you put your email address. Okay, I use Git response, but you want to make sure your email account is set right here. And you want to make sure that your success action is set to a redirect URL wherever you want it to be redirected to, okay? I forgot to mention that I'm making those other pages, but make sure you do that whenever you're setting this all up. All right, guys, there's three landing pages, 20 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial, guys. Hey, and actually, you know what? I'm giving all these landing pages away for free. So if you go to DiviBonus.com and you get the Divi theme through my affiliate link, you get access to the Divi Planet members area. And in the Divi Planet members area, I'm actually giving all these landing pages away that I'm making on YouTube. So go ahead and check that out. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.